All right, so if you have basic fraction and percent skills, this will be a very easy math problem to solve. Matter of fact, let's take a look at the question. So we have a cup and 7 twelfths of the cup is full. And the problem here is asking what percent of this cup is empty. Now we do have a multiple choice question here and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 41.7%, B is 53.2%, C is 60%, and D is 71.3%. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course I wanna walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go and take another look at this problem. It's pretty straightforward. So we have a cup, maybe it's a cup of water, really doesn't make a difference, but 7 twelfths of the cup is full. What percent of the cup is empty? And let's go ahead and take a look at that correct answer. The correct answer is A, approximately 41.7%. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and A plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert and basic fractions and percent. So you're gonna have to know a thing or two about uh, both percent and fractions, but this is not that difficult. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. And let's suppose you encounter this on a test and you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, it's been a long time since I've studied fractions and percent. I'm, you know, maybe you remember a little bit about fractions and percent. Uh, and that's all you really need to figure out the correct answer here because we do have a multiple choice question. So always, always guess, unless you're gonna get penalized for the wrong answer, never leave a math question blank. All right, but uh, let's suppose, again, you don't know how to do the math to figure out the right answer. You can still reason through and get the correct uh, uh, selection here, figure out the correct um, you know, uh, answer out of this multiple choice selection because this right here is a big clue. So if the cup is 7 twelfths full, well, let's use another fraction here to kind of get a sense of what percentage this might be. So what if the cup was 6 over twelfths full or 6 twelfths full? Well, that's one half, right? So one half, hopefully most people know, that's equivalent to 50%. Well, the cup would be 50% full if it was 6 twelfths full, right? So 6 twelfths would be 50%. But this cup has more than 6 twelfths. Matter of fact, it has 7 twelfths. So it has a um, higher percentage of 50% being full, right? So in other words, maybe it's like 60%. Now, it doesn't really make a difference, you know, the actual percent here. We just know that 7 twelfths represents a uh, percentage, per percentage, excuse me, that's higher than 50%. So let's just use an easy number. Let's suppose it's like maybe 60%. Well, if it was 60% full, then this would be 40% empty, right? Because the entire cup would have to represent 100%. So um, we know that again, that 7 twelfths represents a percentage that is more than 50%. So whatever percent empty uh, this cup is, it has to be less than 50%, right? So hopefully uh, if you understand that, we could just look at these options. Well, this is uh, option D. It's definitely not less than 50%. Well, neither is C and neither is B. The only uh, percentage here that is less than 50% is A. So by default, that would be the correct answer. So if you're going to take a guess on a math question, hopefully you know the math, but if you don't know, you know, try to reason through and identify the best kind of option when you guess, just don't blindly guess. But of course, if that's a, you know your only option to, to be like, well, this looks pretty good. Well, at least you tried. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the math here. Now, uh, there's another way we can kind of think of this problem, and that would be this way. So let's suppose uh, you were given this problem. 
Now, uh, this is the same prom, but it's just in word form. So a cup is 7 twelfths full. What percent of the cup is empty? Now, uh, again, uh, I'm kind of showing you the visual uh, representation of this little uh, word problem. But if you have a word problem, you always want to see the problem. So, uh, you know, basically sketch yourself out a little cup and uh, identify where 7 twelfths of the cup may be. So 7 twelfths, again, uh, when you are drawing a little sketch, you want to make it kind of reasonable. In other words, we know that 7 twelfths is more than one half, right? So you don't want to draw a cup and then you maybe put your 7 twelfths like this because that could confuse you, all right? So try to make your sketches or your model uh, of whatever, you know, uh, math problem that you're dealing with, the representation of it, as accurate as possible. Okay, so how can we figure this out? Again, we're trying to determine... Uh, the percent of this cup being empty. Well, if the entire cup was filled up with, let's say, water, it would be 100% full. So if we can determine uh, how much uh, percent 7 twelfths is, right? So let's suppose, again, this is like 60%. Well, then all we have to do is take this number and subtract it from um, 100%, and we can determine what percent of the cup is empty. So the first thing that we could do is figure out uh, what percent 7 twelfths represents. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Again, uh, you are um, allowed to use a calculator in this problem. So 7 twelfths represents what percent? Well, when we're talking about percent, uh, for example, if we have a pizza, right, and uh, uh, somebody eats one slice of a pizza, and this, let's say this pizza was uh, sliced up in four big slices, right? So they ate one out of uh, the four slices of pizza. So they ate one part out of uh, the total or a whole of four. Okay, so one fourth, if we take one and divide it by four, that's the decimal 0.25 or the percentage 25%, right? So another good way to think about percent is a part out of the whole. And here we have seven parts out of a, a whole of 12. So we can just simply divide 7 uh, by 12. Again, we're talking about basic percent skills here to determine the actual percent of uh, this cup being filled. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So 7 divided by 12 in our calculator is approximately 0.583. So we have a decimal, though, right? So uh, we don't have a percent. So how do we change a decimal to a percent? Well, easy. All we have to do is multiply by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the right, which is the same thing, or the result of multiplying by 100, and we get 58.3%. Uh, Again, this, these are um, uh, approximations. So this cup now, uh, from a fraction standpoint, it is 7 twelfths full, or 58.3% full, and now it's going to be very easy to determine what percent of the cup is empty, because if the cup was 100% full of water, well, then obviously that's 100%. But it's not 100% full. It's 58.3% full, which, again, is um, equivalent to the fraction 7 twelfths. So all we have to do is divide or subtract, excuse me, 58.3% from 100%, and we end up with 41.7%. Uh, so that is the percentage of this cup that is empty. All right, so this is one approach that you could take, but there is another simple approach. There's probably other approaches as uh, well. So some of you may have figured out the problem, but you may have taken a different path. But uh, let's go ahead and take the next step. I'm going to show you another way how to do this problem. But first, I'm going to show you this, and that is an invitation to support this channel. This channel is all about trying to make math clear and understandable. And really, uh, what I'm trying to do here is encourage people to never give up on themselves when it comes to learning mathematics. And uh, oftentimes, you know, people are very happy when they're learning math up until they run against uh, run up against something that's very confusing. They're like, oh my goodness, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't understand this calculus stuff or this trigonometry stuff. Or like, I was really good with basic math and then I ran into algebra. Listen, uh, you know, oftentimes, you're going to run into things in mathematics that are going to challenge you, but that is okay. You are smart enough to learn this stuff, but it does take work, effort, and time. Uh, but most importantly, you need to find someone that really can teach you in a way that you like and understand. 
that has comprehensive instruction, all right? So for me, I like to really thoroughly explain things so people can truly understand the concepts involved in mathematics. Now, if you need help with basic math, you know, we're talking about fractions and uh, percent in this particular problem. So if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I do need help with this stuff. Well, check out two courses. You can find links to these in the description of this video. My Math Foundations course or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Again, you can find links in the description. But uh, anyways, I do need your help to continue to help as many people as possible. So YouTube really does consider, hey, how many people do uh, subscribe to my channel? So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's take another um, take a look at another approach to solve this problem. And uh, this time, we're going to think about this cup being full, okay, in terms of not percentage, but in terms of fractions. So if we have a full cup, we have one full entire cup. If we only have a half a cup, well, we have a fraction that's less than one. So what we could do here is say, all right, well, if the cup is 7 twelfths full, uh, what um, fraction of the cup is empty? So we could just figure this out by saying, all right, so we're going to take away uh, 7 twelfths from 1. So 1 minus 7 twelfths will give us a fraction representation of how much of the cup is empty. All right, so this gives us a chance to show off our fraction skills. So 1 minus 12, or 7 over 12, 1 is what? Well, 1 is the same thing as 12 over 12 because we need to um, have a fraction that has um, 12 as its denominator, right? So we have 1 over 1 minus uh, 7 over 12. So when we have a whole number and you just uh, want to think of it as a fraction, just put it over 1. So we need an LCD here or the lowest common denominator. Of course, that is 12. So 12 over 12 or anything divided by itself is 1. But uh, here, 12 over 12 minus 7 over 12, we have the LCD, which of course is 12. So now we can simply subtract the numerators. So 12 minus 7 is 5. So 5 twelfths of the cup is empty. All right, so that's what that would represent. But we still need to figure out the percentage here. So if 5 twelfths of the cup is empty, well, what is that as a percent? Well, we just get our calculator and take 5 divided by 12, and we're going to get a decimal. That is approximately 0.416 repeating. Uh, but again, this is a decimal. We're going to have to multiply by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the right. So we're going to get we're going to get 41.6 uh, percent, 41.6 uh, repeating. Okay, so that little bar means that the, those sixes continue. So we have approximately 41.6 percent. But we can kind of round that up to 41.7 percent. All right, so two approaches, both are perfectly fine. But again, uh, you know, you need to have a basic sense of, uh, you know, percent, what it means, you know, fraction skills. We're talking about basic math uh, skills here, but we are talking about practical mathematics as well. Oftentimes when people study math, they're like, hey, you know, when am I ever going to use this stuff in real life? Well, I can tell you right now, especially when it comes to percent, just think about how often you see this symbol throughout the day. This symbol is everywhere. If you look at your cell phone, you're like, oh, I'm charging up my cell phone. It's at 70% full. Or I'm going to the store and I go, oh, I see a sale for 50% off. You're watching TV and you see uh, a credit card saying, hey, uh, we'll charge you 20% APR. Or they're talking about inflation, a certain percent. Percent is everywhere. So if there is one thing that you want to understand when it comes to practical mathematics, that is percent. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.